So how do you say yes and no in the Luya language of Western Kenya? Yeah, that is what we are doing today in this video. And if you're trying to learn a new language or you understand a language and you cannot speak, but you know how to say yes and no, then you can survive practically anywhere in any community in any part of the world. So currently I am learning a new language. And the first words that I learned in this language is how to say yes and no. So knowing how to say yes and no can save you a lot because somebody can ask you a question or somebody can ask you, for example, are you Doreen? Let's say you understand the language, but you can't speak. So somebody asks you, are you Doreen? And then you say, yes. You don't have to say, yes, I'm Doreen. Just say, yes. Or are you Doreen? No. Are you coming with us? Yes. Are you hungry? Yes. Do you want to go? No. Like somebody can, you can communicate just by knowing how to say yes and no because they'll ask you something and then you look at them like you didn't understand. Now they will re refresh the question so that it requires just a yes and no answer. So because you know yes and no, you can answer the question with just a yes and a no. So today we are learning how to say yes and no in the Luya language of Western Kenya. But before we do that, if you are new here, welcome to the channel. My name is Doreen and on this channel, you are very much welcome. We are doing everything to do with Luya. We also compare other languages to the Luya language of Western Kenya. So if you like such content, subscribe for more videos. So let's get into the video. Now we are going to start with a positive, which is a yes. And we are going to finish up with a negative, which is a no, no. That is how we are going to finish up this video. So how do you say yes in the Luya language of Western Kenya? And this one is Marachi mostly, but I'm going to bring in some Luya sub, sub tribe. <laughs> yeah, some Luya sub tribe. So yes in Marachi is a yes in marachi is a eh. so if somebody asks you are you hungry because food is lawyers and lawyers are food so are you hungry and then you say inzala ihuluma are you hungry inzala ihuluma and then you respond let's say you don't know how to speak clear like you don't know how to say yes i'm hungry you just want to say yes and then you'll say eh just like that. Simple. See, simple and clear. Inzala Huluma. Eh. Now, if you know more Luya, then you'll say, you'll respond. Inzala Huluma, you say, eh, Inzala Huluma. Yes, I am hungry. But don't worry if you can't say, I am hungry. Because if you're a native speaker, then you understand that these things are very easy. But if you're learning or you're new in a community where people speak Luya and you only know yes and no, like you have watched this video and you know how to say yes or no. They'll ask you and you'll just say, eh, and you are good to go. You can say, eh, or you can say, mm. <laughs> this is very, this is very weird. I mean, but it's true. You say, eh, or, mm, or you can just say, <laughs> you get it? <laughs> I find this very funny, but it's very true. It's true. That is how we say yes. So let me give you a couple of examples of uh, sentences in Luya. Then you can, I can give you the responses and you see just how this goes. So see, look at this. Are you coming back today? Are you coming back today? And the response will be, yes, I am coming back today. So you can remove the, I am coming back today. You can just say yes. So, so, Eh, are you coming back today? Yes. If you know more, then you can say, yes, I am coming back today. Eh, ngaluha nyanga ino. So the wanga will ask, ocherera nyanga ino? Ocherera nyanga ino? And then they will say, eh. So if you are a lawyer watching this video and you know a better way to respond, of course, eh is not a bad way, right? It's not a bad way. It's just the way we have been doing it. I mean, I have spoken Marachi uh, for more than two decades now, and I have been saying hey, my whole life. So, yeah, if you know another way to say yes in Marachi, then just tell us if you speak uh, Bantu language. Hmm? 
if you speak a Bantu language or even if you don't speak and you feel like we should know, then we are inviting all the comment section, all the all the comments in the comment section below. Now, let's learn how to say no. So you don't like you are, you are, you're hungry, you're not hungry. You are not hungry. You are, somebody asking you, are you hungry? And you want to say, no, I'm not hungry. No, I'm not hungry. I'll also give you a bonus by telling you how to say, no, thank you. No, thank you. Like you can say no, it's still fine, but you can be more kind and say no, thank you, right? So to say no in Luya, we say dawe. We say dawe. And no is very interesting because we have so many variants of saying no in um in the Luya language of Western Kenya. I don't know why. Maybe because um maybe because some people just don't understand a no. If you tell them no, they don't understand. <laughs> In no's are very hard. People don't usually accept no's a lot. So maybe that is why we have more, many vocabularies to say no. So no is dawe. So the Marathi say dawe. The wanga say, you can say dawe or you can say da. The wanga say tawe or ta. Even the bukusu say ta. And even the nyala say ta. The hayo say hava. And even the samia, they say hava. Hava be. Inzala yukuluma, hava be. Inzala yukuluma, hava. So you can say dawe, you can say hava, you can say hava be, you can say ta, tawe. And then the nyore, the nyore, they say dave, dave. Is it the nyore? Sometimes I do confuse between nyores and maragoli because I find them kind of, kind of related, I don't know. Kind of related, not all of them because I understand nyores almost speak sim their 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 lawyer is almost similar to um kisa um and basically the the lawyers of kakamega of course apart from the apart from the apart from the nyala kind of i find that the nyalas are anyway what i'm trying to say is we also have dave we have um dawe we have da we have tawe we have hava we have have a bit, of course, have a, have a bit is just an extension, an extension, just like saying da and da way. And you can also say, mm -mm. <laughs> you can also say, ah, 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 mm -mm. they are all allowed. So, uh, ukaluha nyanga, you know, mm -mm. ukaluha nyanga, you know, ah, ah, ukaluha nyanga, you know, da way. Ocherera nyanga ino tawe. Um, I'm trying to I'm trying to speak bukusu. Um, what is oh, that is totally off. So I won't even say it. But you guys, you guys understand what I mean. So we have those variants of the vocabularies that you can use to say no. Now, if you are enjoying this video up to this point, give it a thumbs up so that it can reach many people, and those who are planning to come to Learland can understand these two very vital vocabulary in any language whatsoever. Now, I promised you the bonus point. I'm going to teach you how to say no thank you in the lawyer language of Western Kenya. So we're simply going to learn how to say thank you. So um, somebody is inviting you for food because I did a video here of the things that you should not do in Luyaland. And one of them was turning down food invitation or invitation to eat. So if you, if somebody is inviting you, karibu hudie, like, um, it's a hudie, come, let's eat, come join us, let's eat. And then you are full, you're, you're not, maybe you're not full, you're not hungry. <laughs> you cannot turn down food if you are hungry. <laughs> You'll embarrass yourself because you are, your stomach will start rumbling and you're literally hungry. So if you're if you're hungry, just eat. So it's not it's not embarrassing to eat <laughs> in real and when you're hungry. So just eat. So if you if if you're really full, then you'll say da way or real. Da way or real. Like no, thank you. Da way or real. Ta or yom no. No, thank you. No, thank you. Do no thank you is is not a vocabulary that goes together in Luyaland, like no thank you, dawe or real. 
but I've just decided to give you as a bonus so that you can learn if you are somebody who if you are English you know the English really like they really like being very courteous of course lawyers are courteous but no is just a no so Dawe or Rio is weird to say but there is such a thing you can say or you know Dawe <laughs> it's still weird to say but you can use Dawe or Rio so yeah and I have another video for you if you want to learn how to say thank you and you want to learn how to say please because um no thank you dawe or rio is or rio dawe is not so commonly used but we have other words other vocabulary in real land that are commonly used and that is thank you and please so if you want to learn how to say please and you want to learn how to say thank you i'm going to link two videos here or i'm going to link them here so that you can go and learn how to say thank you and how to say please in loyal language of western kenya africa please give this video a thumbs up and share to your friends your family your cousins your uncles okay cousins and uncles are also family so i'll see you in the next video bye bye